The Vietnamese mission is divided into two teams to quicken the search for victims. Both teams have engineering and medical soldiers and service dogs. After surveying eight spots, the Vietnam People's Army forces discovered two spots with diseased victims and handed the bodies over to Turkish rescue force. When it was difficult to assess error, Vietnamese forces count over ruins where members of one family may have been buried. Given the large blocks of broken concrete, narrow roads, and lack of supporting equipment, the forces reported the location to local authorities so they may seek support. The Vietnamese Search and Rescue Mission also coordinated with teams from Turkey, the U.S., and Pakistan to learn from their experience. Members also learned about cutting-edge equipment and technology used to search for survivors and determine the exact locations of survivors and victims. With such results, the Vietnamese mission has been hailed by international peers for their considerable effort and active participation. The facts show that Vietnam possesses qualified search and rescue personnel. Their skills and efforts have been recognized by multiple countries. As of February 15, the 7.8 magnitude earthquake in Turkey and Syria on February 6 has killed over 41,000 people. Nearly 90 countries and territories have sent search and rescue missions to Turkey to help deal with the aftermath of the recent earthquake.